what you went through was not a coincidence, but it was intentional. Yes, let me explain further. And by the way, hello everyone, it's Ishmael and your priest. I welcome you to today's video. You know, like you end up going through the most. And sometimes you console yourself. You think that oh, maybe it is the will of God. I have to go through this. And I believe at times those are the reasons why some people, when at least myself, and I believe that's why most people eventually, uh, uh, they fail to pass a test or a temptation, you know, because you end up guessing, second guessing, what if I'm just deceiving myself? What if indeed what I'm going through, it has nothing to do with me being tested or tempted, but it's a matter of bad luck it's a matter of i'm cursed and even after I, there is no reward you get what i'm saying at least that sometimes does cross my mind and i'm able to tell that okay it means some people this is what they go through this is what sometimes they think when they're going through the most at least uh, uh, but i haven't made any research but then in the back of my head i knew that indeed we cannot deny there are those things which you can be your own cause, not God testing you, not the devil tempting you, but then you made it to happen like that. And there are those that which the enemy, the enemy brings. And you wonder like, ah, why am I being conquered by this situation? Why am I being tried by this situation? You want to understand like, why? What did I do? Like, does it have to? Did it have to be like this? And you ask, Lord, why did you allow it? That's why I'm telling you that those that the Lord allows, there are those that we allow. There are those things which they have nothing to do with the Lord. Hence, at times we have dreams to warn us. We have people close to us spiritually. They come and warn us to be careful. But the thing is this. It was, it is all meant to block you, to make you to be stagnant. And sometimes you'll be like, maybe it is the will of God for me to be like this. No, that is why sometimes there would be times where there were sermons about, is it the will of God for you to be sick? You need to get healed. Do you remember during those revival days of healings? They, they were coming against sicknesses in that manner that you don't, you are not supposed to be sick, like strictly. Meaning anyone who was to be at that time during those days, anyone to be in a place of being sick, whereas indeed it was the devil that planted that sickness, those people would get healed. Meaning those who remained unhealed is either it was due to their unbelief and or such a sickness, the Lord is allowing it to stay like that, like in the case of Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Therefore, there was no room for the enemy to let his things go there, whereas he is not permitted. That is why I'm coming against any form of stagnation that is in your life, any form of blockage placed by your enemies, by the enemy. I rebuke and I remove no more stagnations in your life in jesus name i pray amen and of course you can book an appointment with me my details are on the comment section below see you next time